Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the uh, the next of the CISO talks. And um, today we um, we've got uh, Amit Modi with us um, from um, Movius, um, is been our CTO and a CISO, um, and has been uh, with Movius since their inception. Um, welcome today, Amit. Thank you, Karen. Very nice to be here. Indeed, looking forward to this conversation. Um, so really just to just to start us off um really in like and, and what seems to be coming through more and more um in the, the the current climate and so on is are you finding so when you talk to businesses and and so on are you becoming more aware is there like a, a conflict between um the CISO like the business priorities that every normal business has and then the CISO's priorities are is it because, like with everything that's rapidly changing within the landscape, do you find that that's becoming more of an issue at the moment? Yeah, spot on, Karen. Absolutely. I see it on a daily basis and I see it not just in one vertical, uh, but I see it across the board. So the line of businesses in any enterprise, they are constantly driving for better, more personalization, better client engagement, better use user experiences to drive productivity. So that's sort of the functional nature of pushing the envelope. Mm -hmm. At the same time, regulations, compliance, security is at the forefront for everybody. So in that case, you have to draw a right balance. And I see that conflict happening, whether you see financial services, healthcare, or even in regular SMB businesses, protecting the firm's interactions, information, and data is as paramount these days as is driving productivity and better client engagement. So yeah, I'm constantly seeing that. And that's what we are here to sort of help our customers through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it seems like, like I said, the, the rapid change over the last five years, and, and, and it seems to be speeding up all the time. And one question which we tend to, like, we tend to put to, to different people is that in terms of, like, strategic planning now, do you find that um, the issue with strategic planning is that whereas, like, maybe in years gone by, we were able to plan for maybe, like, a five-year plan and so on, that now – that that's no longer almost relevant in this in today's climate and it's more that like we go for this like six months at a time and move it forward have you have you been finding that as well with yourselves yeah absolutely and i think it has accelerated post covid even more right so if we sort of take a step back right like if you look at from a mobility standpoint or just where people were working and conducting their business, it was sort of very predictable, right? You've got a set of devices, mobile or desktop, mostly you are in offices and you have a set of things that you are using, right? So it was a fairly predictable environment and customers could do sort of two, three years planning. Of course, COVID comes, everybody has to kind of scramble, everybody is mobilized remote and I think for the most part, everybody did a great job in enabling that, right? But what it did was exactly what you are saying, the cycle time of technology change, adoption of technologies, user expectations on what they need and from anywhere that they need, that has gone leaps and frog, right? In terms of moving forward. So mm -hmm. now you need you cannot plan too far ahead. You have to think in terms of six to 12 months and with more and more connected endpoints coming in the fray, that cycle time is going to shrink even further. So I definitely see that. Karen.